Hi, uh, Mike here. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the TNUA. Now, this is actually a really, really important admissions test to take for a variety of different courses at leading Russell Group universities, including Oxford and Imperial, as sort of our favourites. There are other universities as well that actually look at TMUA quite favourably, but don't necessarily count it to be compulsory. Uh, now, the TMUA is actually a two tests, really. It's one that actually tests you on your mathematical ability, that's your paper one. Your paper two is very much focusing on your ability to logically reason through questions. Uh, the scoring system for this is very, very interesting. They rank scores from one to nine. And what you want to be doing if you want to be able to get yourself onto any of the courses that require this is get a seven or above. That requires you usually getting a 15 out of 20 in both of these papers. In this video, just to add to that a little bit more, I'm gonna give my top five tips on how you should best prepare for such tests. Now, my very, very first tip, and this has to be said pretty much with every single admissions test video, if I had the choice, is make sure you absolutely need to take the TMUA for your course. As I said, there are some that find it compulsory, some that find it actually beneficial, but not compulsory. But you might also want to be applying for other courses that require different admissions tests. Um, so for instance, there's also step papers if you want to go into mathematics, there's the PAT if you want to go into physics. If you are studying a variety of different A-levels and you're not quite sure what direction you want to take with subjects, really have a hard think before you put in the graft and the hard revision of whether you should be going into the TMUA. And the earlier you decide this, ideally before the end of year 12, the better. Tip number two in preparing for the TMUA is make sure you focus on developing your mathematical ability and as well as your critical thinking skills. There are a few resources, I'm sure if you went into Google, if you were to put in TMUA preparation that you could find, but the best thing that I could actually suggest to you is actually going onto the University Admissions Test UK pages. And what you will find there is actually very comprehensive type up notes about actually how to prepare for paper one and paper two specifically. Paper two preparation, as I said before, is mainly focused on developing your mathematical ability and actually you can develop your practice with this with other tests like the MAT or even the STEP if you really want to push yourself. But if you're preparing for the TMUA, actually using the STEP for preparation might be a bit ambitious given that you take that at the end of year 13. But with the paper two notes, that is where new information is going to be introduced. You need to learn about the difference between necessity and sufficiency, for example. You need to learn about the different types of proofs. Uh, you need to learn about what it means for an argument to be valid, for instance. Um, a lot of this you need to be able to develop through practice, and there are lots of guided exercises through the notes that actually university admissions uh, tests UK provide. And there are links on some of the university uh, course pages that actually take you to the relevant places to find these notes. Now there are plenty of tutors that you can contact in terms of getting one-to-one -one help with the TMUA with the information on screen. Now my third tip on this list is to make sure you get a copy of the specification and go through the details of actually what you know and what you don't know. I would actually use what I would call a traffic light system. Once you get the specification, you can easily get this from the Cambridge Assessment Admissions Testing Board. They should be able to have one that's actually quite extensive. Um, but I use a traffic light system myself for this, so that I I'd actually color code something in green if I was 100% confident that I could answer questions on them. Yellow, if I am okay with it, I'm a little bit unsure, but I might need a bit of prodding. And red, if I have absolutely no idea. And by doing this, I will be able to detail maybe gaps in my revision um, that I need to address. That usually involves you going back over your AS level content, making sure that you haven't forgotten everything over the summer, right before these tests in your paper, um, and that you are pretty uniform across the board 
in terms of the contact that they provide. So make sure you do that on a regular basis, maybe once a week, just to assess actually how you're progressing through your preparation for the TMUA. Now my fourth tip on my top five tips on how to get onto the TMUA is take past papers and start taking them early. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever for you to get ready to go into your TMUA without doing this. You need to know the structure of the exams, how long it takes to do each question, and actually this helps again to work on what your strengths and weaknesses are on the paper. Um, now, each of the two papers presented in the TMUA, they are 75 minutes long, they offer 20 questions. The, the, the temptation here is to think it takes an equal amount of time to do each question because they have equal weighting. Um, but what you actually find if you do these papers is that the difficulty increases as you go through the paper. So what you might want to do is quickly go through the first, say, 10 questions and then maybe give yourself a little bit of extra time with the later questions. In terms of your actual exam style, you won't really know what it is until you take papers. It's also a really good litmus test in working out what you do and don't know. Um, so I would also say with this, don't just take the papers, mark them after. There are plenty of online solutions as well that actually give you proper guidance as to how you best should have gone about answering these questions. So the basically here, make sure you take your past papers early, take them regularly, and make sure you're in the best position to take your TMUA papers in October. Now my final tip on these top five tips on how to better have the TMUA is enlist the help of a TMUA tutor. I know I mentioned this earlier, but I cannot stress enough the benefit of working one-on-one -on -one with someone who's already taken these tests before and have managed to get into universities like Oxford, Cambridge, Imperial. In fact, this is something I would say with anyone taking an admissions test of any kind, not even just related to mathematics or computer science. If you want to look at the evidence for what makes us so good, 95% of our students achieve their first or second choice university um, and then we've also had really really great success in our Oxford applications and um, we've actually had a success rate of 55 percent which is three times the national average in getting onto courses at Oxford and Cambridge so if you are really really interested in getting that really, really crucial support getting ready for tests like the TMUA or any other admissions tests, then please take a look at the information on screen, get in touch with us as soon as you can, and until we hear from you, best of luck with your application.